Good morning. It is a warm, well, it's actually like 70, but it's going to be in the 90s for like the next four days here in Utah. So we're getting our thrifting done early. After that, we're probably at a risk of like very hot days. We might have one or two sneak in here, but fall's coming. Yeah, it was like 63 when we were up taking care of the animals. We're headed to the thrift store. We are going to try to not have a mega haul We've had three mega hauls in a row. I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I've had so much to paint. So we're just going to do it like a regular haul, but we're going to Harriman because the last few weeks, Harriman has been a honey hole. Riverton. Oh, what is You drive through Harriman to get to Riverton. Oh, I'm going, we're going to Riverton. That's what it is. Anyways, we're going to go there and we'll uh, take you along with us. We are like two minutes late. So hopefully some good stuff is still here. You got some serious trucks here ready to uh, pick up the junk. You know, when they got the sides on, they're here to get the furniture. We'll see what they've got in here. Doesn't look too crowded, so hopefully there's still some good stuff, but there are some women on my favorite aisle, which is the dishes. Riverton always has the best dishes. So this set is really pretty. I'm gonna pick up the whole set. This is, brings back memories. These are the first dishes that Zeb and I ever had we were newlyweds, all my house was uh, yellow and blue. I keep thinking someone's gonna pick up this little settee because it just needs an upholstery job. Or maybe, I always need a good tote. I always need a... What on earth is this? Is this for like putting in needles or earrings? It's like, it's like a fabric. I don't think it's a lamp. I'm gonna leave it here. These are, yeah, oh, they're Gibson. This one, I was like, ooh, I like this. I don't know about what it is, but me and Pioneer Woman, I feel like we'd be besties because I love all of her stuff. Well, hello there, big candlestick. Four dollars. It's giant. They always have some really cute canisters here. I like that rooster one. Kind of farmhousey, doesn't have any major chips. Three bucks. Let's see if this is metal or plastic. It's, I think it's wood. Little planter, three bucks. I am always a big fan of white, so there's a pitcher and then a cute little teapot. So I'm gonna pick that up. Two bucks. And then this one, also $2, it's got a chip. Oh, it's got a big chip on the bottom. I'm gonna pass on that one. All right, I kind of like this tray. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Little tortoise in the hair situation, or is that just a really fat rabbit? Check out the platters. I love aluminum. It sells really well for us. Especially hammered aluminum is coming back in style. I've not seen one with handles like this before. Layman aluminum, $3. I'm gonna pick that up. Haul are pretty good dishes. Um, tested and approved. And this one's kind of some fun fall colors. I'm gonna pick up this bowl. Oh, look at this. It's got a lid, it's a little urn, two bucks. I'll check out the mugs, see if there's anything we can't live without. I've actually had pretty good success with fun mugs here. <laughs> there's more Reese's. Remember ones I bought those? I'm not sure if they sold, but I'm gonna leave that one here. He can, he can buy it if he, if he sees it and wants it. Ooh, spongeware. This looks older. I'm gonna pick that one up. This is actually having a huge resurgent, like resurgence in cottage and primitive design. So I'm gonna pick this mug up for a dollar is a good price. Ray Dunn Christmas mug. I know some people think that Ray Dunn's going out of style, but we never have a problem selling this. This is a dollar fifty. I'll probably sell it for like six ninety five. So this is actually a pretty neat display. I doubt it's four dollars.
I'm gonna run it by Jamie, see if she can put that in the shop anywhere. There's the real price, $35, still not bad. Do we need more flower buckets in our lives? Oh, those are little, but I think I'm gonna get this one. Oh, I like that. It's kind of fluted on the side there, ribbed something. We'll take that ribbon off, $2 a piece. This is kind of like the tchotchke decor aisle. There's always fun stuff. Hand carved candlestick. This one's solid wood, $1.50. Pretty little dish, it says mother. Oh, it's got some chips on it. I'm gonna leave it here. It's from Japan. These roses always get chipped. Oh, that's a sweet little nativity. 75 cents or $1.50, I don't know what they're gonna charge. It's got some weird paint, but I think maybe on the outside? I love the little lamb. I'm gonna pick that up. What? Yes. I think I might need to redo the clock face, but look at how cool that is. Let me pull it down off this shelf. All right, $15 for a metal clock. I don't love the face. The face is not good at all. But it's big enough, I think I can get away with putting a new face on that. I might just paint it. And then we have some stencils. I can probably do the, the numbers on there. I'm not usually a huge fan of these, but I like the subject matter. Anything with horses and hunting, little village, that'd be cute painted. That's cute for a dollar. Definitely needs a new paint job. My big clock with the bird on it sold from last week, so should be good to go. Got another, and they got room for another clock up there. I really like this little Howard Miller clock too. You don't, I don't pass Howard Miller's up. There's no price tag on it though. We'll have to see what they say at the counter. This aisle is loaded with baskets. There's always some really fun like pots in here. I like this actually a lot. It looks like it might even be like hand done. The glazing is really cool. This Ray Dunn clock, if it was plastic, I would have skipped it, but it's metal. So I'm gonna get it for $3. Oh man, I need this for the barn. Oh, it's plastic plastic I'm gonna leave it but check this out that is that's good oh check this out it's double-sided does it really open oh it does so you can get into the batteries that's really cool always lots of candlesticks tucked away back in here let's see what we can find this looks like a torture device but I bet that unscrews They're kind of odds and ends, but paint it up. We could make a cute little set. Metal aisle, roughly untouched. So we'll see what they've got. I'm not a fan of those leaves on there. These are probably, Zeb, would you buy these? I'm not a fan. What do I do with them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is, is a candlestick, mm -hmm. but I'm not. Oh, somebody the other day was like, can you be more gentle? So just pretend you didn't see me knock that down. That's cute. I don't like that. I would normally not even get this one, but the feet are really cool, so I have to get it. A wall pocket. I like the cone shape on this one. Two dollars is a good price. I saw all these Le Parfait jars. These are like the ones we sell in the shop. So off the cart, I found these Le Parfait jars. Dollar fifty each. It looks like the seals not super good condition, but we sell them in the shop, so I can get new ones. And met stacking measuring cups. These are really cute. I need to find some canning jars because I keep finding all these cool jar lifters that look cute with them. 
the wood aisle is stocked. I'm not sure I have the patience to like dig through it, but there is lots of good stuff in here. I forgot to film this last week. This is a uh, dollar store video that we did with dollar store trees. This is somebody else's rendition of it. It's always fun when I see something like that. So this is a pretty good bundle for four bucks. I'm gonna pick this up. It'll look good in one of my larger containers. I definitely have to pick this up. Hopefully it's not too, oh, $3. Yeah, because we did one just like this and it sold. So we need another one. These are cute little Christmas glasses. I like the detail on them and it looks like there's four. So I'm gonna grab them. So I was gonna slow down on frames, but I found this really cool. I don't know how old it is frame, but it's nice and heavy and the detail is really cool. It's three bucks. Somebody tried to sell it for 75 cents. So I kind of wish it still was 75 cents. These are 75 cents. They're Jasco. Cute little Christmas plates. I love the little girl with the angel wings. And Santa's, Santa's face is really sweet. This looks like those um, mugs that I got. Houseers. Oh, that's cute. From Kmart. Are Kmart's even still around anymore? These apple Christmas ornaments are actually really cute. I'm gonna pick them up for two dollars. I'll probably sell them individually in the shop. Totally the wrong season, but cute Valentine's decor that's not cheesy is hard to find. And there's two of them. I'll save them till next year. So we had two little desks. I think we sold one at the barn sale. I'd have to go look to be sure because it was outside. But this is super fancy. It's way cooler than the other ones we've had. People really use them as desks, but they will put them in their front yard with like a plant on them or whatever. Yeah. 25 bucks. It'll fit in the car. All right, you get time. I'm doing my second round just to make sure I didn't forget anything. Look how sweet this is. It's $4. I'm definitely going to grab it little baby Jesus. Zeb sent me out here to look at this. I definitely want this for $15. That'd be cute to display in the shop. And I think it'll sell fast too. Last week we found a tray for $5. It was kind of a similar um, age. This is another Daher made in England. We'll see if this is a fun pattern because the last one sold. So we'll see if somebody likes this for two bucks. We're making our last minute purchases before we just before we do our little short of whose car is better. Although I actually bought this. No, nope, we put it in my car. So now it's yours. I think I put a few things in your cart because yours wasn't that full. All right, so we are now at the shop. We're full clear, like one store. How much did we spend? Oh, uh, like $228. But <laughs> $40 was a bow for the boys to play with. So uh, let's say- $25 was the little desk. But that's um, for the shop. So we spent like- And then we had two, $15 items, big clock, and then your tray situation. Yeah, I feel like we did pretty good. We're gonna go into the barn and grab one box because our goal is to get rid of all the random boxes out of the barn. We will see, we will see if we can get rid of them. <laughs> so we said we weren't gonna do a mega haul, but we still managed to fill up two and a half carts of stuff in the back here. So we'll see, we'll see how long this takes. Most of these are bigger items though. The last time around, we had a ton of small items and still filled up three cards. It's Monday, so the shop is closed. But look at the Cosmos. They are like blooming like crazy. I actually think I probably should have thinned them out this year. Got I actually transplanted a bunch of them over there. And we are headed to the barn. Let's see what we can find in here. I actually really need to steal this chair. I painted it in Queen Bee, and then it's just been outside getting all chippy. So if I just put a coat of sealer on it, then it'll be good to go. All right, so here are our boxes of goodies. I'm thinking I'm just gonna do this box minus whatever that is. I think these are actually for the house, the cottage. Yeah. So we're gonna get this. This is a bunch of like old um, yearbooks and some fun cutouts, so I'll get those listed. I might grab two boxes. 
Zeb's grabbing the stuff from another box. So we're gonna take this entire full box and include it in this week's thrift haul, get it photographed and into the shop. Thanks for coming thrifting with us. We did keep it to one thrift store. One thrift store, but we ended up, I think it was like two and a half carts to get out of there. Somehow we loaded it in two carts but then when we left, it took three carts. Kind of like when you go to Costco and you overload it and they can't fit it back in. Yeah. I'm like, Sorry, this happened slowly over time. So it's not quite a mega haul. It's an almost mega haul. And we got one box out of the barn. So that's one box down, like five more to go. Um, I'm going to slow-mo on all of this so that way you guys can see it. Don't miss out on our Saturday thrift haul at 8.30. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to share it out. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. See you on the next episode. Oh